I knew you were here because you are the luckiest lady on our birthday to be able to do what you're about to do. So wonderful Councilwoman Bruni, your turn. Thank you, Mayor. Good morning, everyone. We want to uh, celebrate a very special organization this morning, but to do that, I'm actually going to, going to invite my colleague, Councilman Creer, up because he's much more dynamic than I am, uh -huh. but more importantly, he has been a true champion of the arts from the get-go, and he represents the area in which this amazing nonprofit is located. So, Councilman. Thank you, Councilman Bruni. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, happy birthday, Las Vegas. Uh, congratulations, Brad. Uh, it's a big deal, and uh, we're so happy for you. But we are here this morning to honor the Nevada Ballet Theater. And before I bring up our uh, team, um, we're going to show a quick video, a little bit about who and what they are all about. So take a look. It started as a dream, a vision of dance in the desert. Led by Vasily Sulich and Nancy Housels, an institution built on innovation and creativity inspired a city. Becoming a thriving cultural treasure. Sharing a passion and hope for the future. Inspiring the next generation of dancers. bringing the joy of self-expression and a love for the art form to children across the valley. As we celebrate this remarkable time in history, we begin a thrilling journey into the next 50 years. We are just getting started. We are an ensemble of professional artists, students, patrons, and community leaders, elevating the cultural identity of our city. Together, we will change lives. Join us as we rise to new heights and dance into a dynamic new future. This is artistry. This is education. This is community. This is Nevada Ballet Theater. Now you can see why we're here this morning. So we're going to bring up Nancy Housels, uh, who is one of the founders of the Nevada Ballet Theater, and also board chair Jerry uh, Nadal to join us here at the podium. Absolute living legend, uh, Mrs. Housels. Hey. Great to see you. So Mrs. House has co-founded the Nevada Dance Theater, and now the Nevada Ballet Theater, 1972, with artistic director Emeritus Vasily Sulich, as we just saw in the video. Mrs. House's early leadership was integral in MBT, becoming a professional ballet company. And she was a driving force in the growth of MBT and establishing its historical legacy within our city and our state. She has worked over 20 years with a group of inspired community leaders to build the Smith Center, which opened in 2012, which we were on the board together for the Smith Center. Uh, you know, before there was a Smith Center, there was the Nevada Dance Theater, Nevada Ballet Theater. Uh, it now serves as Las Vegas' preeminent cultural landmark based right here in Symphony Park. In addition to establishing a world-class performance home for the ballet, Nancy's commitment to the company and our city's cultural life also led to the 50th anniversary of MBT in 2022. Though Nancy retired shortly thereafter as board chair, her passion for the arts, her support of the company and its future, and her belief in the life-changing power of dance still remains today. MBT, which is a 501c3 and nonprofit organization, they always accept donations, by the way, and support from the community if you're watching, now stands as one of our city's largest and most iconic arts institutions. Its professional company is comprised of dancers from around the world who call Las Vegas home. The company presents main stage productions like the Nutcracker, which welcomes over 20,000 patrons annually. 
to the Smith Center, where it is the residential ballet company. Its affiliated school in Summerlin trains over 300 students, and its highly regarded community education program reaches over 20,000 students each year with free in-school dance classes, scholarships, and access to essential arts programs. And so today, we want to present you with a proclamation on behalf of the city of Las Vegas. We also want to present you personally with a bouquet of roses uh, and our symbol of thank you for all the work that you've done. Um, so we're going to present the pre presentation. I'm going to read some of it. And it's whereas the Las Vegas City Council recognizes Nevada Ballet Theater for its dedication of sharing the art form of dance with all in its mission of seeking new audiences and cultivating its national identity through a diverse repertoire in New York and new work. And whereas we are proud to have Nevada Ballet Theater in Las Vegas bringing the art of dance culture to residents and visitors. We honor Nevada, Nevada Ballet Theater as it enters into its 53rd performance season this fall. We wish its board, leadership, and staff the absolute best as they continue to inspire audiences and vital, and vital impact community life with artistic talent and new works, dance training, and community education. And now, therefore, we, the mayor and members of the Las Vegas City Council, do hereby proudly proclaim May 15, 2015 on Nevada's, on Las Vegas's birthday, Nevada Ballet Theater in the city of Las Vegas and ask residents and visitors to join with us. Congratulations to you. I'm going to hand this, I'll hand it over to Jerry. And I would love for you to say a couple of words and tell us a little bit more about your vision of how the theater started and how we got to be here today. It started in the desert, in the dust. Nobody wanted us. They didn't see a reason for a ballet company in the gambling community. And uh, we prevailed anyway. We stayed, we danced, and we've danced thousands of miles to get here. And I think we're wanted now. <laughs> and, and you can see the value of culture as part of a community. It's so important. It's important for our kids. We recognize that very early. And so we go into our community. We're going into about 20 schools next year, 2021 20, schools, and give kids an opportunity to dance who would never have that opportunity. And they love it. And they come at the end of the season, their school year, and they perform at the Smith Center. How lucky we are. <coughs> Excuse me. I just got out of pneumonia or whatever I had. Anyway. Um, uh, it's been a great, great and wonderful experience to be part of this, and I've loved every minute, and my husband did too, and we're so happy to be Nevada Ballet Theater, the resident company, <coughs> at the uh, Smith Center. How wonderful it is. Myron Martin, thank you too. You're right over there uh, to have the Smith Center here. These are also part of an important part of our community. And it's great to have sports teams, but to have the culture to match it too. So we're grateful to be here. It's been a wonderful trip we've taken to get here. I want to introduce our artistic director sitting over there, Roy Kaiser, thanks to you, Dane Cronin, part of Nevada Ballet Theater, Jennifer Cratchwell, Maggie Plaster. Jerry, thank you. Uh, I thank all of you for the pleasure of your company because I've loved every minute of it. And thank you for this lovely author. Uh, uh, this, thank you, Carolyn. Thank you, thank you, Cedric. Yes, my pleasure. Thank you for this wonderful privilege of being here today. We love Las Vegas. Thank you. Jerry? It's hard to follow up with that, but uh, I've been on the board for about 12, 13 years now, and it's been a privilege to work with Nancy. Um, not many organizations have their founders for 50 years uh, guiding the organization, uh, but she really has set this up uh, amazingly, worked diligently with Myron and a number of other people to get the Smith Center here in town, and now with a resident company there. But I think more than anything, we know that 
uh, the arts and culture can change lives, and that's really what we do with the kids and the 20 schools that we work with. And you can see it in their faces when they're performing on that stage. They watch their parents, many of them coming to the Smithsonian for the first time, how that changes their lives. The professional company and then the dance academy as well all combine really, I mean, we are a fixture of Las Vegas, and it's been a pleasure being guided by Nancy, and now that she has retired, being able to move the organization forward with, with Roy and with Beth Barbary, our executive director, is a privilege, and uh, thank you very much for this honor. Thank you, we're gonna take a picture. I would highly, highly recommend that you all uh, attend their annual gala, which recently took place. It is quite the amazing event, uh, and you get a chance also to see the work that they put into these, to these young kids, and uh, it is fabulous every year. So thank you all very, very much, and congratulations to the Nevada Ballet Theater. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.